So, Halo Infinite's campaign released about a month ago, and whether or not you guys have jumped into it or not, I want to make a guide on how to help you guys get through the legendary campaign of Halo Infinite. Hey guys, what's up, it's Umbra here, and I'm going to be showing you some tips on how to play through Halo Infinite's campaign on Legendary. Now, bear so let's start off with some general tips before I get into dealing with enemies. So I think this goes without saying, always have a precision weapon. This includes the sidekick, the battle rifle, the commando, the mangler, the plasma carbine, any sniper rifle, etc. So you, when you start out in the game and you get an assault rifle and a sidekick, your sidekick is going to be your primary weapon rather than your secondary. And the ideal weapon combo you want to have for dealing with most groups of enemies is to have a kinetic precision weapon, so like a battle rifle or a commando or a sidekick, and a plasma based weapon, a plasma pistol, plasma carbine, and disruptor. And the reason for this being is so you can easily take down enemy shields with your plasma weapon and quickly finish them off with your kinetic precision weapon. And with the Plasma Carbine, it may be tricky as a precision weapon, but it does come in pretty handy at taking down shields. Especially when it comes to certain enemies that have higher levels of shields, like elites or brute chieftains. And one thing I will suggest is that you take things slow and don't rush through combat, especially since enemies, even grunts and jackals, do a higher amount of damage than if you were playing on normal or heroic. So take things slow and don't rush through combat. Well, I mean, unless you're speedrunning or you like staring at a loading screen each time you die. Especially if you're playing on Xbox One. And kind of like how you would in real life if you got into a gunfight. I, I'm hoping you guys won't have to be in that situation, but always use cover. Who knew that in a video game that taking cover would stop you from getting shot? Because enemies' projectiles, like I said, hurt like hell on Legendary, and if an enemy throws a grenade, run the hell away. And when you're fighting a boss, always make sure to play defensively and evasively. Is, is evasively a word? Uh, oh, never mind, just run a lot if you run away from them a lot as much as you can and play defensively is what I'm saying. Because these bosses will usually have a ton of health and a ton of shields, so charging them head-on is a pretty bad idea unless you want to fist bump them with your face and turn you into the next Mickey Rourke. So what I mean for example is for bosses like Tremonius, you want to keep a good amount of distance between you and him, especially if there's cover, but once he starts firing his cinder shot, run away as soon as you can because two or three shots from that and you're dead. And for the welcome to my tower, Master Chief Elite, you're gonna want to be on the move since he's gonna be charging at you with an energy sword most of the time, and you're also gonna want to use your threat sensor to see where he is and throw the plasma coils to bring down his health. And once you go got his shields down, just pop him in the head a couple of times and you should be able to kill him. Although bear in mind, he can shoot the coils you're holding and kill you, so be pretty careful because sometimes he'll pull out his plasma carbine. And now let's talk about some of the tips for dealing with specific types of enemies. So let's start off with grunts. Now, I think this goes without saying for every Halo game. Even on Legendary difficulty, grunts are the easiest to kill. All I can really say is just aim for the head with a precision weapon or just melee them. And maybe stay away when they try to suicide bomb themselves. And now, jackals. The method on killing jackals on Legendary is kind of the same formula for Halo Infinite 2. Shoot the hand holding the shield if they are using a shield, and stun them so you can headshot them, or you could try moving around them and headshot from there. Additionally, explosives are also pretty useful for dealing with them. And Jackal snipers are unsurprisingly extremely deadly on Legendary. And you can usually tell there's one aiming at you when you see the laser pointing in your direction. If you see it, take cover immediately. Once safe, try to find out where that Jackal is aiming from and take him out, which should be pretty easy since they're not using any shields. And now, let's talk about one of the most common members of the Banished, the Brutes. Everybody remembers Brutes, right? They were tough as shit in Halo 2. 
the replacements for elites in Halo 3, and how they look like my alcoholic uncle after drinking himself into amnesia in Halo Reach. Well, now they're back in Halo Infinite and they're... surprisingly easy to kill. Like, more so than jackals. So, for most of the brute enemies you come across, they will be wearing an armored helmet, and all you really need to do is just shoot the helmet off, and then shoot them in the head. And you can pretty much kill them in two shots, even on Legendary. Now, some brutes will also have shields. Usually these are chieftains or captains, whatever they're called. So you're gonna wanna take down these shields with a plasma weapon, and usually this can be taken care of pretty quickly. I feel as though Disruptor and Plasma Pistols work the best, especially the former. And for Berserkers, play as defensively as you can. They are a lot more armored than your regular brutes, and do not try to rush them without an energy sword or a gravity hammer, because they will kill you most of the time in one hit with their melee. And if you can try to gain some distance and get as many headshots as you can, and if you can't spread out, then try to get to a high spot where they can't reach you and kill them from there. They also don't seem to be able to jump, so you can pretty much just stand from, like, a building and kill them and they won't follow you, assuming there's no way to get up for them. And now, let's talk about elites. Now, aside from hunters, elites are probably the most difficult to take on. But they're not impossible by any means. Now, don't try to take on an elite in close quarters. They usually use weapons like the Plasma Carbine and will often try to rush you. They deal a lot of damage too, so you will probably want to make some distance. And just like in previous Halo games, what you want to do is have a Plasma Pistol, shoot a charge shot at them, and they this will eat up their shield, so all you need to do is just kill them with a precision weapon. And also, using the Disruptor also helps too. There seems to be a reoccurring message in this video, don't you think? Well, if you haven't guessed it already, precision shots are your best friend. Although, this might be harder on PC because 343 thought it was a good idea to make the reticle not turn red for some reason. But let's talk about the Hunters next. Hunters are probably the most difficult enemies to deal with in Halo Infinite, but fortunately, they do seem to be pretty rare. So, like in previous Halo games, what you want to do, the main strategy for dealing with these guys, is focus on getting from behind them and aim at the fleshy things on their back. Shotguns, explosive weapons, melee weapons, and grenades seem to be the most handy, but you're gonna want to move around a lot, so speed is the key for dealing with these guys. For dodging their plasma cannon blasts, which will definitely one-shot you on Legendary, or when they try to reach from behind and melee you, also one shot. So you're definitely gonna wanna stay on your toes with these guys. Keep a sense of rhythm and try to focus on dealing as much damage as possible to their back and you got this. Just make sure to always be on the move and try to get behind them and kind of mess with their reflexes. And with these tips, I hope this guide helps you all have the best possible experience with playing the campaign of Halo Infinite on Legendary. And I hope you all enjoy it, subscribe for more gaming content, I primarily make Final Fantasy XIV videos, although I love to make other videos as well. Be sure to follow me on my socials, and I will see you all later. Umbra, out.